Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most most important topic of the thermodynamic subject, that is Gibbs free energy and about its significance. That is the most important thing. As what is the importance of this topic? So we are going to talk about the significance of Gibbs free energy also. So let's start it. So first of all, we are going to talk about what is the definition. So as we know the formula of Gibbs free energy G equal to H minus T S. So we are going to define this formula in this way. The Gibbs free energy of a system at any moment in time is defined as the enthalpy of the system minus the product of the temperature times the entropy of the system. So this is the formula G equal to H minus T S. As we know, H is the enthalpy. So where G equal to H minus T S, where we define G is the Gibbs free energy, H is the enthalpy of the system, T is the temperature of the system. And S is the entropy of the system. So as we know, H we define H in terms of two kilojoule per kg, while temperature in terms of Kelvin and entropy in terms of kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So I, uh, directly we can also say that the unit of Gibbs free energy is kilojoule per kg. Also, as we know that H and S and temperature all are state function, or we can call it as point function, which do not depends upon the path. This depends only upon the initial and final state. So, as all these states, all these uh, parameters are point function. So, we can also call as Gibbs free energy is also as a path one point function or a state function. So, the Gibbs free energy of the system is a state function because it is defined in terms of thermodynamic properties that are state functions. So, what is the significance of this free energy? That is the important thing that we have to define. So, what is the significance? This is the important thing. So, significance of Gibbs free energy defines the spontaneity of the reaction. So, before uh, de uh, defining the significance, we should know about the spontaneity. Means, what are the spontaneous reactions? Like, hum sabhi ne suna hoga, like uh, the reactions which which occurs itself, मतलब जो खुद से हो जाती है, जिनको external external agents वगैरह की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती, कोई भी external resource की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती। तो जैसे like आप हम हम लोगों ने देखा होगा, कभी भी हम ice को जैसे किसी भी liquid में डाल दें या फिर मतलब ice को full मतलब अपने refrigerator से अगर ice को बाहर ले आएं, तो वो अपने आप से पेगल जाती। That's a spontaneous reaction. Means उसको कोई भी external agent की जरूरत नहीं, वो अपने आप से uh, energy ko absorb the environment and khud se wo melt ho jati hai. like this is the process melting is the spontaneous reaction and evaporation is also the spontaneous reaction which comes under spontaneous reaction like agar aap water ko matlab sunlight wagara mein rakhte then it can evaporate into uh, vapors so these are the examples of spontaneous reaction spontaneous reactions are the reaction that occurs by itself so Significance of Gibbs free energy. So, the reaction which is spontaneous or non spontaneous is defined with the help of Gibbs free energy. So, in the next uh, slide, we will see what uh, how we will define it. Is it, a, is it a spontaneous reaction or it is a non spontaneous reaction? So, this is the formula we have seen that G equal to H minus TL. This is the another definition we can see that Gibbs free energy is equivalent to the enthalpy of the framework less the result of the temperature and entropy okay we can also define gibbs free energy in another way this is the another formula type like as we know h is equal to u plus pv internal energy plus pressure and this is the volume so h equal to u plus pv then the formula becomes h equal to u plus pv minus ts so g is a point function or a state function and g is an extensive property Extensive property means it depends upon the mass. Jitni adam, jitna jada mass hoga, utna jada gives free energy hogi. So directly proportional to mass. So, but uh, single, matlab akela uh, gives free energy jo g hai, iska koi significance nahi hai. Like we have to cal like entropy jab hamesha entropy hum delta s calculate karte hain system mein. What is the change in the entropy? No, we do not calculate only the s. Means what is the entropy? So we on always take what is the uh, change in the entropy means from the initial state to final state in the similar way we have the significance only for the difference between the initial state and final state for the Gibbs free energy so 
This is the delta G equal to delta H minus T delta. This defines the Gibbs Helmholtz function. Okay, this is the Gibbs Helmholtz function. This is the this is the important thing. Okay, so whenever so is को हम define कैसे करेंगे? Delta G is equal to negative of useful work of system. Useful work क्या होता है? जो मतलब क्या कहते हैं? जो भी system क्या कहते हैं? जो वर्क डन बाय सिस्टम होता है मतलब वर्क कैन प्रोड्यूस बाय द सिस्टम मतलब उसको वर्क रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं होती जो कि वो वर्क कर सकता है सो दिस इज द इज इक्वल टू द नेगेटिव ऑफ यूजफुल वर्क ऑफ सिस्टम डेल्टा जी ओके सो एग्जांपल वी कैन से इट है डेल्टा जी इक्वल टू -100 किलो जूल सो दे -100 क्या बताएगा नेगेटिव मींस 100 किलो जूल ऑफ वर्क कैन बी डन बाय द सिस्टम मींस ये 100 किलो जूल ऑफ वर्क सिस्टम कर सकता है मतलब सिस्टम को रिक्वायर नहीं है सो वेन एवर मतलब 100 किलो जूल ऑफ वर्क ये कर सकता है सो वेन एवर डेल्टा जी इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव द रिएक्शन आर स्पॉन्टेनियस रिएक्शन ओके सो डेल्टा जी इक्वल टू प्लस 100 किलो जूल क्या डिपेंड करेगा हंड्रेड किलो जूल ऑफ वर्क इसको चाहिए इस रिएक्शन को होने के लिए वर्क कैन बी डन ऑन द सिस्टम ओके इसको हंड्रेड किलो जूल ऑफ वर्क की रिक्वायरमेंट है सो दीज आर नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस रिएक्शन ओके so whenever delta g is greater than 0 the response is not unconstrained and endergonic delta g is less than the response is unconstrained and exergonic okay so when delta g is equal to 0 so response is at balance means the system is at equilibrium so first of all you have to define whenever you are in an interview and you have to define any one so first of all you are going to define the uh, define the give free energy means a particular definition then you will give this formula g equal to h minus ts then you will extend this formula to g equal to u plus pv minus ts then you can tell about these two properties that it is a point function and extensive property then you will define about the significance what is the significance means how you will uh, define that this is a spontaneous reaction or non spontaneous reaction you can also define spontaneity of the reaction what is what are spontaneous and non spontaneous reactions so after that you will define that gibbs helmholtz helmholtz function this is delta g equal to delta h minus t delta s and you will define that delta g ka formula bata do negative of useful work that is the important thing and give the, these two examples so i think i have covered all the things so thank you for watching this video please share the video and subscribe the subscribe the channel and join this telegram group also thank you